Now today we'll try to understand how to find out the normal distribution using Microsoft Excel. Now here in this particular example, the current measurement is there which is following the normal distribution having some mean of 10 mA and variance of 4 mA square. So variance is given as 4 mA square and therefore standard deviation is square root of variance so it is 2 mA and mean is given as 10 mA. Now we have to find out in the first place what is the probability that the measurement will exceed 13 mA. So we have to find out what is the probability of x greater than 13 mA. In the second case, we have to find out what is the probability that the current measurement is lying between 9 mA and 11 mA. We can say that probability of x less than x is 0 0.98 and we have to find out the value of x. Now we will start with the first case in which we have to find out probability of x greater than 13 mA. So value of x is given as 13. If we substitute that value of x is equal to 13, mean is 10 and standard deviation is 2, then we will obtain the value of z as 1.5. Now we have to find out the probability of x greater than 13. It means that we have to find out indirectly the probability of z greater than 1.5. So the given variable x, we have converted that variable into another standard normal variable that is z. So on the standard and on the standard normal distribution curve, we have to plot this value of z. So this is z is equal to zero, and suppose this is z is equal to one point five. Now from the table at z is equal to 1.5, the value of area is 0 0.4332. So we have to find out as we have already seen the probability of z greater than 1.5. So z greater than 1.5 means this particular area. So this is our required probability. So as we know that in case of the normal distribution curve from minus infinity to 0 the probability is 0 0.5 or area under the curve is 0 0.5. Similarly, from 0 to positive infinity, the area is again 0 0.5. So total area or maximum probability is always 1. From the 1, if we subtract the addition of these two terms, then we will get the required probability. So required probability will be equal to 1 minus summation of these two terms that is 0 0.0668. So this value we can calculate using Microsoft Excel also. So that we will see in the next steps. But first we will see all the three cases together. Now in the second case, we have to find out the probability of measurement of the current lying between 9 mA and 11 mA. So using the formula, we can calculate the value of z1 that is x1 minus mu divided by sigma. Substitute the value of x1 that is 9, so it is 9 minus 10 divided by 2 that is minus 0.5. So that value is, plot, is plotted over here. Similarly, x2 is equal to 11 mA and we can use the formula for z2 over here that will be nothing but equal to what x2 minus mu divided by sigma and that value will be nothing but what 0 0.5 so that is also shown over here so this is our required probability so as you can see over here this is area a1 corresponding to z is equal to 0 to z is equal to minus 0.5 and 
This is the area A2 corresponding to side is equal to 0 to side is equal to plus 0.5. So required probability will be summation of these two areas that is A1 plus A2. Now from the table at z is equal to 0 0.5 the values of the areas are 0 0.1915 and 0 0.1915. So addition of these two will give you 0 0.383. So this value also we can calculate easily by using Microsoft Excel. Now in the third case, we have to find out the value of x such that probability of x less than x is equal to 0 0.98. So indirectly we have to find out what is the cumulative distribution function for the given value of x. And that cumulative distribution function is already given as what 0 0.98. Our probability is already given as what well, 0 0.98. Now using the formula that is z is equal to what it is x minus mu divided by sigma. Now as we can see 0 0.98 can be split up into two parts that is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.48 and corresponding to 0 0.48 the value of z from the table is 2.05. So if we substitute that value over here, then we will get the value of x as 14.1 milliampere. So we can say that when the value of x is less than 14.1 milliampere, the probability is 0 0.98 or cumulative distribution function is 0 0.98. So let us try to understand this by using this normal distribution curve. So this is z is equal to 0, this is z is equal to 2.05. Now how to interpret it, that is also important. So as we have already seen, this is 0.5. So 0.98 can be written as 0.5 and this is 0.48. And corresponding to this 0.48, the value of z is 2.05. Now what are the cases that we have seen, we will try to solve this using Microsoft Excel very easily. So we will go to the normal distribution curve first and then we know that in our first case we have to find out the probability of x greater than 13. So first we will substitute the value of x is equal to 13 over here. Then the remaining values. Now you can see x is 30. So from 1, if we subtract this value, then we will get our required probability of the case 1. So just subtract this value from 1 and you will get the required answer. Again go to the next case. Now here we are having two values of x. That is 11 milliampere and 9 milliampere and we have to find out the corresponding probability. First we will substitute the value that x is equal to 11 and the given value is 0 0.69146. Now when we will substitute x is equal to 9 and again doing the same procedure we will get some different value. The difference between these two values will give you the required answer. Now put x is equal to 9 and you will get some answer over here that is this value. The difference between the previous and this value will give you the required answer of the second case. Now we will go to the last case. We will randomly choose some value of x that is 12. And let us see what is the cumulative distribution function in this case. So value that we have obtained is 0 0.84 but our required value is 0.98 so we have to increase the value of this. So now you can see it is 0.93. Again we will increase the value so that it will be closer to 0.98 so it is 0.977. Now if you assume 14.1 then it is closer to 0.98 so that is the required answer. 